ready to open the hood, useful for the tutorials. And for car parts, the right idea is the Mr. Auto app. Easy, fast, and with better prices than on the website. You will find the bulk EGR valve used in the video exclusively on the Mr. Auto website and my tool injector cleaner through the link in the description. Turn off your vehicle ignition, set the parking brake, pull the hood release handle and open the hood. To access the EGR valve, you have to remove the airbox. Unplug the connector of the airflow meter. Then unclip the electrical sheath from the air box. Using a socket wrench and a 13 socket, unscrew the two screws holding the air box and remove them. Unclog the upper air duct. Unclog the lower air duct. Pull on the right hand bellows to extract the duct, turn it up vertically, then pull it towards you. Undo the hose connected to the air box. Using a Torx 25 screwdriver, completely unscrew the three screws on the air filter flange. Release the latch. Then remove the flange. You can now remove the air box. You can now see the EGR valve. There are a multitude of symptoms linked to an EGR breakdown. Loss of power, injector issues, appearance of warning lights. Using a Torx 27 screwdriver, unscrew the two screws holding the air EGR valve and remove them. The valve can sometimes be stiff to remove. You should be able to loosen it free by making lateral back and forth motions. Disconnect the electric connector. To do that, press on the strip on top of it, then pull it. If it proves hard to remove, use a thin screwdriver as a lever. All parts used in this tutorial are supplied by our trusted partners. These partners also help us create as many video tutorials as possible. Check them out in the description below. You can find the bulk parts and products used in the video on the Mr. Auto website and linked in the description. Take hold of your new EGR valve, ensure and compare it with the old one to ensure that both are indeed identical. Plug the electrical connectors back together. Oil the EGR valve seal to improve impermeability. You can now slide the valve back into position. Rescrew the holding screws back onto the valve. Replace the airbox, making sure that the water train is in the right place. Reconnect the upper duct. Clip the hose and the electrical sheath back. Replug the airflow meter. Screw the two screws holding the airbox. Put the lower air duct back in place. To put the flange in, incline it so that the interlocking studs go in first. Then push it in so that it presses against the filter compartment. Tighten up the three screws. Then lock it in place with a latch. To complete the operation, Take advantage of the opportunity to clean your injection system by directly pouring injector cleaner into your reservoir, which will help avoid numerous problems linked to injection and will guarantee an optimal engine ignition. Operation completed.
Hi, it's Theo from Usetool. I hope this video has helped you a lot in your car maintenance. We would be super grateful if you could spread the word so that we can produce even more tutorials. Simply give us a like, a comment and hit that subscribe button. It really helps us boost the channel and help the whole community. Thanks a lot and have a great one.